Tools review Friday or maybe Monday. I don't know when I upload this video. Either way, I want to show you my new toy from here. It's a thermal imaging camera and always I wanted something like this, especially to help me when I'm doing electronics, board repair and vehicle diagnosis. I also have a ton of specialty tools here, but I'll try to show you the tools that are appealing to me. And as I told you, always I wanted something like this. This camera is made by Kiwitz and the thing that I like about this camera is the refresh rate. This is able to do 25 frames per second refresh rate compared with some other high-end cameras that are more expensive. Some of them, not all of them, some of them are able to do only 8 frames per second refresh rate. So they are very, very sluggish. Either so, this is not a professional tool, but it's up there. I will show you what is in the box. I will do an unboxing video. I will show you how I will use it and what this camera is capable of. What's in the box? In the box we have, first thing, this nice envelope. That for me is look like a uh, wedding invitation. And this envelope will keep the user manual. The user manual it's very interesting. The English part, I think it's up to this point. So the rest of the manual is different languages. It's useful to read it. On this side, I have charging cable, USB-C, and also a charging brick power adapter and here in this case it's a nice case is the camera itself to start the camera you need to push power three seconds and the camera will start will take a couple of seconds. You need to remove the protective cap. This one from here is the thermal camera itself. This is a normal camera. This distance from here will create some problems. I will show you in a second, but it's not very important. And this is the camera itself. I have here a trigger to take pictures. Store photo now, or if I will keep pressed, I will Create a video, start recording, I'll select no. Uh, this camera has 32 megabytes of memory, but you can use 20 something of that memory. Here is the USB slot. You can connect this camera directly to the computer. Inside of this camera, you'll find the software to edit or to watch the pictures and the videos. In the middle, the target from the middle of the screen is fixed. This is the main temperature reading. You can see it's up here also. Here at the bottom, you'll see the maximum and minimum temperatures. The minimum, it's green one. The maximum, it's red one. You can see it. These two temperatures, these two targets are changing accordingly to the highest and lowest temperature in the image. You also can change the type of image you can see now I'm using the camera with the temperature reading. And here you can see another hand next to my hand. This is the thing that I told you, the difference between these two cameras. You can adjust this for the focal distance. You see here it's adjusted. And if I will come closer or if I will go further, the meeting points between these two cameras is different. So if I will calibrate the camera to show here the image combined, here will be offset and on the other side will be the same offset. But that is a very, very small problem. Either way, I will use only this, this function. This camera have a emissivity setting. I won't get into the emissivity thing. If you want Google it, you'll find more things. Um, the menu of the camera is image correction to correct the image between these two cameras, depending the distance when you where are you want to work. Uh, you can see the photos, videos, color palette, the emissivity setting itself, and so on. 
internal settings about the auto shutdown, brightness, language, temperature, range and so on. Um, now let me show you ah, another thing. This camera has an internal battery that I don't know why you can access it by removing this cap. It's a battery that is plugged there. It's a 3500 milliamp battery and Kiwit says that with a fully charged battery you can use this camera for six to eight hours. Hmm. Seems to be very very good runtime but to charge the battery you'll use the uh, USB-C cable. Another thing, another interesting thing about this type of cameras is not a defect, uh, you'll hear a click. Let me see if this click. When you hear that click, there is a shutter inside of the camera for auto calibration. So for a fraction of a second, the shutter will blind the camera and when you hear that click, you'll see the image freezes. It's not a problem, this is the way that this system is working. For example, if you have a BMW with night vision system, switch on the ignition, go in front of your car and listen to the night vision camera, the same you'll hear this click because that camera always, the night vision system, will always need to auto calibrate itself. Now the auto shutdown is working and the camera is shutting down. I can use the main pouch to store the camera, to store the brick, the cable and even the user manual if I want. Yeah, and it's closing. Nice. And of course, as everybody else, always I want more. And in this case, I would like to see a bigger screen here that will frame the entire inside of uh, this case. Maybe they are able to do that if they will uh, quit doing this box. I think this will cost some, uh, some money on the manufacturing process. Maybe this will be enough to do a bigger screen. I will be happy with a cardboard, simple cardboard box with this pouch and with a bigger screen. And a short demo how I will use this, how I can use this. Uh, I will use my power supply. I have here a light, a LED light. Uh, if you want to know exactly, it's from an E93 LCI. It's from the trunk lid with the LED modules. For this I need some probes. Uh, yeah, this kit is also from Kiwitz. Let's see what I can use from here. I need this guy. I think I need only one. I need a probe. Now I have my power supply set up to 12.5 volts. These are the leads. So from back here, ground is the blue wire. And is this thing. And red, it's for the LEDs. Red, I don't have any way to connect this. So I will use this thing. I will front probe it, something that BMW don't like. And we have lights. Now with the camera and remove the cap. Let's see. You can clearly see. See this is the LED. This component from here it's getting hotter. And you see this, the small one from here? This small one, this transistor, it's getting warmer. Nice. And the front side, you see these two LEDs? You cannot see them because the LEDs are cool. 
not all of them, depending on the power. Start recording, yes. So now I'm recording. Yeah, and this was my Friday, Monday tool review video. If you like this tool, show me by hitting the like button. If you want to know more about this, I will leave some details in the video description. If you have a better tool than this one, don't forget to let me know in the comment section. And with this, I will end this video here. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for being with me. And until next time, you know the deal. Stay awesome. Bye now.